hello friends uh, today we will see how to generate uh, headshot using comfy ui and uh, stable diffusion models so here you can see this is the workflow i have uh, found this workflow in reddit so basically what is happening here uh, we are using a load a checkpoint node so this is uh, the sd model realistic vision v60 p1 so and uh, after that we are using few clip text encoder to encode the text input like to guide the uh, image generation so there are few other nodes you can see this one is to in, uh, in import the import the images and then we have a ip adapter unified loader face id and there is another node ip adapter face id and ultimately here it is a k sampler which is sampling the all the inputs and there is a va decoder to decode, decode the latent image output and finally we get the output image here okay <coughs> so i will just tell you like uh, this is very simple there is nothing to do but uh, to configure the workflow and to download the model it will be little hectic so for this uh, checkpoint you can download the uh, sd model from hugging face or cbit uh, ai you can download and put it inside this uh, comfy ui model then checkpoint so inside checkpoints folder you can download the checkpoint model and then so the issue is uh, mainly we are facing in this ip adapter unified loader face id so you have to download multiple uh, IP adapter models and also multiple LoRa's for the face ID. So I'll just show you how where you can get the all the models and how many models uh, is required to to be downloaded and the links for those models to download. So first you can see here I'll just uh, open the uh, IP adapter folder. So inside this IP adapter folder, you can see these are the IP adapter models. So you have to download all of this from, there is a link. Uh, I guess uh, this is, yeah, this is the link. So this is the high hugging face link. I will um, give the link in the description. So yeah, you need to download all this model and uh, put it inside uh, models slash IP adapter. Also, you can put these models inside custom nodes as well because uh, sometimes I, I don't remember it was giving error. So I for, for the safer side like it takes lots of time to uh, debug the comfy Y issues. So for, for, for safer side, I kept all the IP adapter models inside both of both of the folders. So inside uh, this uh, custom node configure UI IP adapter class models and also inside uh, model slash ip adapter so uh, uh, one more thing you can do like you can search if you don't uh, find the url like where you can get this uh, models you can search in google with the name like ip adapter sd15 light v 11.bin and you will get the link like uh, from which uh, hugging face directory it is coming from and you can go there and download all the models and uh, for your uh, knowledge like I, I i am sharing this list of uh, uh, model names so you have to download all the models so this is the one for ip adapter models and after you download the ip adapter models you have to download the loras also so the lora for for the face id uh, the loras you have to keep inside this lora folder so these are the lora um, minimum number of lora 
models you need to run this uh, workflow so ip adapter face id is d15 plus 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 so i am not really sure like which one is being used in this but i kept just uh, i kept all of this whatever is was available so th these are the two things uh, you have to download and then after that you have to download the uh, clip model these are the two clip model also you need to download clip are like uh, uh, which uh, convert the input text image to uh, what to say like to to a vector like of internal vector which which uh, the model can understand because uh, you have to inform the model like what, what kind of uh, modification you need in the picture so let's say i have i have uploaded this pic so i need to tell the model like i need to guide the model like oh, what kind of face or have what kind of uh, uh, clothes uh, i need in the output image so here you can see i'll just zoom in so here you can see i have uh, given like a close a close up of studio professional photography of a person wears a red color business suite white background high quality detailed natural lighting and this is the negative prompt so these are the, these are the two prompt clip text so you need to use the clip encoder models to encode this text prompt so these are the two encoder model you, you, you have to download so same thing uh, you can search in google you can search in google and you will get uh, the link where you can download it from so all the uh, models you can find in hugging hugging face so i will just give you one small advice like how you can download it so there is a when you want to download the complete repository like this is the one complete repository so if you want to download all the models uh, you can do one thing you can uh, install the hugging face hub library so using uh, this you can use the hugging face uh, hf transfer transfer and you can download the complete repository in a folder so this this is the code so what it is doing like I, I am providing the hugging face repository id and the folder so this is the folder path in the sense like the repository folder path so you can see the models are not uh, ins inside the specific folder like it's sdlx uh, models folder or here i have downloaded it from the h95 ip adapter so okay okay not this is the folder yeah this is the model folder so i have downloaded it from this folder so this is the folder i have to provide the folder name here in case there is no folder you can just uh, remove this you don't have to use the folder path so it will download it once you once you run the code so i am running this code in uh, jupyter notebook so this is downloaded inside this path and then you can just uh, write few lines of python code and copy it to or move it to the uh, ip adapter folder so the, uh, these are the three things like you have to download the clip models clip uh, vision models and the ip adapter models and the loras so once you download the complete uh, all the models then only it will work otherwise you will get uh, uh, error so You have to keep that in mind. Okay, I'll just reload it. So 
uh, I'll just run it and uh, okay before running I'll I'll show you the hugging face uh, this is the one IP adapter one and there is one more uh, uh, link where you will get all the uh, details like of which all model you need to download so this that is uh, one so here you can get the LoRa models uh, if you scroll down and you will see uh, you can get the clip vision clip vision model details and IP adapter models also and uh, IP adapter models and the LoRa's also here this is the LoRa uh, model here so you you can uh, come to this link and uh, you can download the LoRa's from here okay <coughs> So once uh, you have down, uh, you download everything. So you can upload your image like uh, input image. So I have just uploaded one input image here. So this is my image. I have removed the background. Okay, and I will just add some extra uh, detail here. So let's run it first with this same detail okay if I run okay let's uh, run the okay. okay I'll click on the Q button yes now it is running so it has generated you can see the this is the generated output so i have uh, kept the seed as rand uh, randomized uh, it's uh, randomizing the seeds here so you can uh, keep it fixed or you can seed you can just put zero or you can randomize it to get the different output multi uh, different times so if i just click one more time so you will see you will get a different output here see if I click one more time, you'll get different output. Okay. So sampler, if I change the sampler, so currently it's DDPM. Okay. If I just change the sampler to DDPM to an SD GPU. Okay. And see. Uh, it does not look good it's adding some extra thing on the face this is not okay uh, I'll just keep it as it is you can keep uh, this as it is or you can check like uh, change the values here on the steps and CSG values and see how uh, which one uh, is uh, giving the better output so I'll show you one more thing like uh, you can here you can uh, change the input like what kind of uh, headshot you need like what kind of uh, clothes uh, you want on the output so I'll just uh, remove this line okay uh, photography of a person we are say red color be in a suit so instead of that I will say where say blue jeans and a pink top and see what kind of output I am getting see so it's uh, giving output uh, blue jeans and red top so to uh, you have to Mm, you know provide the native prompt also to make sure like it is not generating uh, uh, adult content so you have to make sure of that and uh, so the, the, the negative prompt is also very important so if I say pink uh, instead of pink if I just say 
blue jeans and yellow top okay see it's uh, the model is following the instruction very thoroughly so you can use this workflow and generate very nice uh, headshot for your profile or for your dp in to, to, to use in your instagram account or your youtube and you can also generate thumbnail, thumbnail also but for the generating the thumbnail the workflow will be little different i will uh, make a separate video for that for now you can use the workflow to generate headshot night nice headshot for your profile pic you can play with uh, other uh, checkpoint also but i feel this uh, realistic vision this one uh, gives us a very nice output so i will provide the link uh, for for, uh, for the all the models to download and i will share you the workflow also in the on the description and if you want to know like how i am running this uh, comfy ui so i will just give you a basic, basic uh, idea like uh, how i am doing it so you can you know use vasta.ai this is a very nice uh, cloud provider i am very happy with vasta.ai so basically what you have to do like you have to search for um, uh, you have to create a template for comfy ui uh, vast ai already has uh, inbuilt template so you can select the template and you can search for the uh, instances and you can uh, just uh, rent uh, one instant instance like i have I, I have rented the rtx4090 so this uh, cuda is 12.4 its uh, location is korea kr and so i am using the chip gpu Sparrower is costing 0.353 dollar so it's not that big deal okay so uh, once you create the instance you have just you have to just start it and once it, it is started you can open using this open button so it will open this uh, catalog here you have the comfy y link you can click it and it will open the comfy y and the, there is a jupyter not notebook so once you click on the jupyter notebook you will get the folder structure here and you can see all the folder structure from ui inside that you have everything and if you know i need the code for, for downloading the high interest repo this one i will share the notebook also and uh, there is one more utility i am using to download the models uh, from hugging face or sirit ai so it's uh, that is like a to, to you uh, it's a uh, kind of like uh, i'm using wget uh, command uh, in linux uh, terminal so basically uh, i just copy the download link and uh, i copy the model name so it's uh, what it, it is doing is like it's uh, just uh, generating the uh, command with the proper format like uh, wget minus o then the model name so that the you know the file gets downloaded with the specific name because uh, yes sometimes you know you have to keep uh, rename the models so it is necessary to you know uh, rename uh, put a uh, correct name so uh, you can manu manually also do it but uh, when you are uh, handling uh, you are working with multiple models it's difficult to manually you know type all this uh, details so i have created this small windows uh, application so it's just few lines of code c sharp code if you want i can share this uh, code vl studio code also or you, i can share the exe file you can just double click and uh, run it but uh, this has to be run in windows operating system because uh, this is a exe application dot exe application so for today uh, that's it uh, and uh, i will create another video like to to uh so you like how to generate the thumbnail images using comfy ui and uh, realistic vision checkpoint or different or uh, any other checkpoint
Thank you, guys.